Good evening, fam. I wanted to come to you this evening to talk about the homeless. Um, and we see it, it's a pervasive problem in this country. Um, and it's a pervasive problem in Atlanta. And being from the Bay, I know it's a pervasive problem in San Francisco and Oakland and Los Angeles. This is really bad. So there's homelessness everywhere. But I, I just want to talk about about those who are homeless. And I'll be honest, sometimes I have to check myself and check my heart because, um, you know, when you drive out on the freeway or you drive somewhere, and especially when you get off, get off of a freeway exit, there are some people who are asking uh, for food or for money. Basically, they're beggars. They're begging. Um, and they have their signs up and things like that. And, and I, I can only speak for myself. I, I can only speak for myself and say that at times, you know, you try not to look at them. You try to pretend that they're not there. You try and, and look away or even you're saying, please, please, please don't ask me. Please, please don't ask me for money. Or better yet, they're at the light at the exit of the freeway and you're like, please stay green. Light, stay green so I don't have to say anything. Light, stay green. Uh, please, no red, no red, or keep going, keep going, keep going. Or if it's a stop sign, your roll stop. You don't completely stop. There's no one coming. Boom, you're gone. And um, and hey, I'm just being honest. <laughs> I mean, that's 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 what we do. And I've I've really tried over the years to have a a heart of compassion, of um, just caring. And, and understand that um, I don't know what their story is. Sometimes we think, oh, they're just hustling or they don't want to work or we, we become just mean and, and just, I don't know, we don't, we don't give them the same humanity as we would give anyone else. And so, um, you know, and, and so we kind of, actually they're, they are dehumanized. They become the the invisible and um it winds up that way um not just personally but then it winds up that way in our policies in our society just government politics uh just our society overall and so i i just re really been making an attempt over the years and this is just saying recently is to always think of my or catch myself talk what am i telling myself because I don't know that person's story. I don't know where, they, where they're from, what they've been through. And I don't know what's the real. Are they drug addicts? Do they have an addiction? Um, do they just hit hard times? Um, do they just lose everything? Or really, are like for instance in the Bay Area, are, just, are things just so overpriced that you don't make enough money to afford the place to stay? So, um, so I, I'm really careful and check myself about how I'm feeling and and I, I make it a point not to dismiss them, at least to make eye contact and say, God bless you, how you doing? Or if I have money or if I have cash, to give it to them. No questions asked. What they do with it, that's on them. But um, but they are human beings. They, they I mean, I just think of a song uh, Walter Hawkins, uh, it could have been me with no food to eat. It could have been me with no place to sleep. So in, in the grand scheme of things, I am truly blessed. And I and, and, um, was looking up some scriptures to support, you know, how we should be treating the poor, those who are less fortunate than we are. And Proverbs 19, 17 says, kindness to the poor, kindness to the poor is a loan to the Lord. And he will repay the lender. Not that you should give expecting something from God, but just letting you know that God does reward those who are generous to the needy, who are generous to the poor. And, and then also Proverbs 14, 31 says, whoever opposes, I'm sorry, whoever oppresses a poor man insults his maker, but he who is generous to the needy to the needy 
if I can say this right, <laughs> Proverbs, let me say this one more time. Proverbs 14, 31, whoever oppresses a poor man insults his maker, but he who is generous to the needy honors him. All right. So just uh, whenever you see someone who's less fortunate than you, think, think, contextualize that. Where are you at? How blessed are you? You know, so I can obviously say that I'm blessed. My situation may not be perfect, but I have a roof over my head. I have food in my refrigerator. I have a place to lay. I have a place to sleep. I'm not out in the cold. So I just want to encourage you, treat those who are unfortunate, who are, who are less fortunate, who are poor, who are needy, who are homeless. They're human. They're God's children and treat them with love and compassion. All right, so I hope you've been blessed by this. Have a good one.